Hey, down back. Okay, so I got the uh, rotor out of the newer one. It was right in here is where it was. And this was the back cap that held it. Held it together. It was actually pretty quick and easy. I just loosened up these screws. And then, and then I could just roll them out with my fingers. All I needed was a little star bit. Can't get it in a good place, but anyway, you know what they are. And uh, kind of wants to stay. It's magnetized a little bit. And see, whenever you turn it on, that's why I was saying. If you, I mean, uh, electric motor people, you know, electric, electricians and uh, electronics people know so much more about this. But anyway, that's an electromagnet. Sitting there like that. That's what that is. Of course, this one's nothing. <laughs> it don't do anything. But, uh, of course, that's not how it's being used as an electromagnet. I mean, you know, the rotor, the stator, well, the see yeah rotor well this is what I call this is the rotor it rotates and I'm pretty sure I got that part right of course this one looks real good it's all clean and and not worn or anything we'll get the other one out and see what it looks like but uh, so what I'm figuring is the other one the bushings are worn enough that it's letting it touch the sides and, and that'll lock it up. That'll lock them up. So, and this one's not even energizing. So evidently it's got bad windings in there. They got, they burned up. That's what I guess. And I can't get, I did a continuity test. I get nothing with it. All took apart. Because it wouldn't have made any difference. It shouldn't have made any difference. Because, yeah, you know, with no, uh, I mean, this way I know I went from here to here, you know. And I know that I didn't have anything else interrupting, you know fooling me in my circuit or anything but uh, you know, from what I yeah these things are wound from one end to the other so you should be getting continuity yeah, and those big pieces of copper wire they they got to do with all these plates these are all plates put together can't really see that. there we go these are all plates so uh, I've seen a lot of videos on people making their own motors and stuff, and pretty interesting. I've seen where people machine this stuff themselves, and they're trying to make new designs that work better and stuff. You know, the way that hangs crooked there almost makes you think it's uh, worn out, but I think it's okay. Oh, it's swiveling. It's not. I'm looking at it and trying to hold the phone at the same time. I believe it's swiveling in there. The, the bushing is swiveling. Yeah, I think so. I don't think that's that the uh, shaft is that one. Yeah, I can see it right there. Can't see it. I don't think you can see it on the video, but I try to remember. I used to run camera. I've always liked making videos and stuff anyway. I used to I even run camera on cable TV shows and stuff. And I actually do know how to do it. But when you pick up a phone, you forget everything. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it swivels. So that's not a sign of wear there. Okay, let's get the other one apart. And what I'm wondering is can I put this rotor in the other... I want to say that's the armature. But uh, rotor, stator... The stator, the armature, the stator. No, this is the armature. Yeah, don't don't get me lying. I never, I always have trouble remembering my terms unless it's something I use all the time. So, and then I forget. Okay, I'll be back later. <laughs>